Hi, my name is Greg Teschke, and I'll be talking to you today about the Mechanical Technician General Machinist program that we offer at Conestoga. So this is a two-year college diploma program uh, run through the Dune campus in Kitchener. And my co uh, contact information is at the bottom left-hand corner. So if at the end of the video you have any questions, send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a program coordinator for the General Machinist program and I completed my apprenticeship at Conestoga in 2001. After that, I wrote my certificate of qualification exam with the Red Seal endorsement in 2002. And since then, I've worked in automotive stamping, uh, automotive molding, and aerospace for almost the last 20 years. I joined Conestoga in 2017, and I've been loving it ever since. So there's four programs that fall under our precision metals group. And it's important to look at them all as a whole because the first two semesters across all four of our programs are the same. So that gives you some flexibility. You can transfer to different programs as you sort of find your way. You might discover that you'd rather be in the tool and die program instead of the general machinist program, or maybe the CNC program, and you can you can move around between these programs fairly easily. So we'll take a look at the general machinist program. It has a co-op and a non-co-op option. Everybody that applies to this program applies to the non-co-op program, at least initially. Towards the end of your first semester, if you, if you want to, you'll, you can apply to the co-op program. Now, you need a minimum 65% session weighted average to qualify for the co-op, but if you maintain that, you can apply for the co-op position and enter our co-op stream. So the co-op stream has two work terms, the spring and fall work terms, so semester three and four, and these are paid positions. So this is a chance for you to get some industry experience and be working at the same time and collecting a paycheck. The last two semesters after your co-op, uh, you, you come back, you finish off the, the program with some uh, design software, some tool pathing, a little get involved in some CNC programming and operation, and then you graduate. So this program will introduce you to uh, the CNC programs, uh, CNC operation, as well as manual machining, you know, lathes, milling, grinding, all those. This program also covers the learning outcomes for level one and level two general machinist apprenticeship. So at the end of graduation from this program, you'll have covered the in-school portion for level one and level two of your apprenticeship. So you're not required to come back to school to, to retake those classes should you pursue an apprenticeship. I mentioned the co-op stream. It includes two back-to-back -back paid co-op work terms. Those are, those are great. If you're not in the co-op program, those two semesters you would just have off. So that would give you a chance to go out and find your own employment or you know, whatever you wanted to do with those two semesters. This program does have one intake per year, and that's every September. So you wanna make sure you get your application in by the February 1st deadline, so you can be considered uh, for acceptance into this program. Once you do get accepted to this program, you'll get an offer of acceptance from the college. You need to confirm that offer. So there'll be a date that you have to confirm that by. You need to make sure you do it by that date. This program is fairly popular. It fills up quickly. If, if you don't confirm your offer in time, your spot disappears and goes to somebody else. Then you have to wait another year before you can reapply and get readmitted to the program. So make sure you confirm the offer when you get it. This program uses a bring your own device model. So you're expected to provide your own laptop and I'll cover the minimum system requirements in just a minute. Um, this laptop is gonna be yours, so you look after it, but um, we're gonna provide software downloads, license keys, 
and that sort of thing that you require as part of your, your course. So the, the big items for your, your device, it has to be Windows 10 64-bit Pro. The software that we use won't run on a Mac operating system, so you have to have Windows. Eight gigs memory is pretty much the minimum. And the, the other big thing is you need a separate graphics card with at least two gigs of memory. You can't use onboard graphics. The software we use just won't do it. You need to have a separate graphics card. So there's a, a virtual tour here. There's 66 slides in the campus virtual, virtual tour that covers every aspect of the campus. But I've pulled out a few slides that might be a little more pertinent to our program. And let's have a look at them as soon as I can find them. There we go. So here's a shot of our CNC lab. So in here we have a total of six lathes and seven mills. And these you'll be using in semester five and six of your program, as well as a, an EDM wire. And this is mainly used by the tool and die, but we're, you, you might end up using it in your program as well. This is an example of some of the manual machines you'll be running. So these are the, the lathes. Everything is nice and organized, nice and neat. And then another side you might want to look at is the open access computer labs. These are great if you've got a little bit of time between classes. You know, you've got an hour or two between class. You want to do some of your, your homework you can pop into an open access lab and work away whenever you want. There's also some uh, awards and scholarships that are available. Uh, some of these are specific to the General Machinist program, and there's a bunch that are available to all programs within the college. So these are all offered through Student Financial Services. And the uh, application date will be you know, communicated to you through the, the faculty members as to when you can apply and how to apply. So after you graduate, what sort of career opportun opportunities can you expect? Well, you're gonna be uh, working, producing high quality you know, machine components for various uh, machining and tooling industries. You could leave this program and uh, after graduation, of course, and uh, pursue a, an apprenticeship as a general machinist, or uh, you could just work in the trade without getting licensed. Uh, my suggestion would be to get an apprenticeship at the end because you've got the, the schooling that is equivalent to the first two levels of your apprenticeship. So you're two thirds of the way there as it is. I've included a link at the bottom as well to the job bank website, and you can search that for job opportunities and salaries and all that, you know, either in the province or across the country. So some questions I get asked a lot, are there scholarships available to the students? So I, I briefly went through the scholarships and I've included a link here if you want to take a, a more in-depth look and there's many available. Uh, what do you do if you're not participating in the co-op semesters? Well, those semesters you would just have off. So you could upgrade some of your marks, you know, if you had a, a course or two you had to retake, or you could just, you know, volunteer somewhere, get a job, uh, it's up to you. If you were to transfer from one program to the other, would you have to retake courses? No, the way it's designed, as long as the course codes are the same, between programs you get automatic uh, credit for those when you transfer. If you have any other questions about the program, feel free to contact me. Uh, as the coordinator, I have access to a lot of information that I'm more than willing to share with you. If you have any other information or other questions about the program, um, I've included a link here to the program webpage and you can read through there. It gives descriptions on course structure and you know, all the questions you wanted to answer. So looking forward to seeing you at Conestoga in the future, uh, hopefully in a mechanical technician, general machinist program. And like I mentioned, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.